Hey there, Jed Coverness here from JedCoverness.com. My next exercise physiology is coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota. This is talk therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind to think out loud and put it all out there. Here we go. Uh, yeah, today's weather, cold as shit again, man. Cold as shit again. Uh, what, minus one. Driving to work this morning, and it was minus 24. It was a lot of fun. That's your weather. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. So, what else we got going on today? I don't know. I don't really ever know. But let me tell you, it was my birthday uh, on Saturday. And sometimes birthdays are just another day. Sometimes birthdays are just another freaking day. Let me tell you that. Because it happens. Like, I had to take care of everybody else on that day. Usually I get taken care of every single day. And that's not, you know, I mean, my wife, bless her heart, like, she's fucking awesome. And that's usually what happens. But, you know, my daughter starts throwing up on Friday night. My wife was not feeling great on Saturday. Our son was not feeling great on Friday into Saturday. I wasn't a hundred percent. You know, happy birthday. <laughs> it's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Like we have a son who's my other son is puking today. Holy shit, right? Like that's how it works. The craziest part of all of that is Cody and I did a podcast episode, also known as him and I just hanging out and fucking having some fun. And uh, <laughs> as soon as I got home, like I had no idea. I had no idea I had to puke. That's how cool our mind is. Like it worked out perfect that we could get an episode in. It worked out perfect. Like the stars aligned. And then all of a sudden I get home and I'm like, I literally walked in the door almost got to the to the kitchen had to backtrack back to the to the bathroom and i came fucking unglued from the stomach to the mouth like that was crazy to me and then the rest of the night was a core workout because i just kept puking and puking and puking it wasn't it was just it was the flu like it hit me right then like wham like in the face okay you're puking can't keep anything down done what like, that was insane. So, you know, what do you do? You, you just, you fucking endure. That's what you do. You keep moving. You, you, I still worked out. Every fucking day I worked out. I did one round of my wad that day. Which that's what you need. Yeah. There's a yawn. You're welcome. If you're watching and listening, you probably just yawned. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, you know, I mean, the flu season, cold and flu season is upon us. It has been for a while. There's nothing more than that. Like, oh my God, did you get tested? Tested for what, right? Like, you have a cold, you have a flu, and that's all it fucking is. Like, just know that and respect it. Sure, is there something else going on? Whatever. Not even going to get into that. Not even talking about that. Just saying. We had the flu. You know, and my daughter's so cute. She's like, but we got the flu shot and everything. And I'm like, yeah, that fucking doesn't do shit, okay? They want to tell you it does. So yeah, but it's, it gets the most common strains. Fuck you, it does not, right? Like, it doesn't. And if you want to check your facts, whatever. I don't, I'm not a believer in it. I just check the science. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If somebody wants to come at me, great. Come at me just some tinfoil hattie, right? Like, whatever. I just know that I still got the flu and I didn't get the flu shot and the rest of my family got the goddamn flu shot and they're all getting the flu. So what the fuck's the difference? There is no difference. So don't tell me you have to get your flu shot. No, I'm not gonna. But that's neither here nor there. It's just me. It's me talking to me. That's how it works. That's what this is, shit. Like, do you think this is anything different? Hell no, it's not. 
I've been doing this for too long. I remember back in the day when I had the camera strapped to my my center console and I used to catch so much hell. You can't record yourself while you're driving. Bullshit. I did it anyway. It's way before people were like doing this all the time. Look at my look at the YouTube channel. Like scroll way down. Way down. I've been doing this way longer than anybody else has strapped a fucking video camera to their goddamn center council. I promise you. But I've been doing this because this is for me. Fuck yeah. This is just what I do. I talk to me and I get inside of myself and my head and root around and go, yeah. Let's do this. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to say today, but I don't know what the message is. The message might just be that. Just fucking start talking. Just start talking. You'd be surprised on the shit that gets falling out of your mouth. Sometimes you're the dog and sometimes you're the hydrant. Maybe I've said that before, but I'm telling myself that today. Pick which one you want to be. I'm pretty sure I don't want to get pissed on. So I'll be the dog. But then sometimes being pissed on is better than being pissed off. So maybe you'll be the hydrant. <laughs> maybe just be the hydrant. Because then you don't have to be pissed off. You can just be pissed on. Until you fucking decide that you're neither. Or both. Put all that shit in your pipe and smoke it, right? See what happens. Speaking of pipe and smoking it. How about that halftime show, Super Bowl 54, or whatever the fuck I just watched on Sunday. That halftime show is decent. Now, it brought me back. It brought me back. I was okay with it. But it, it, it left to be desired, right? Now, I love every single performer out there, except for the one, right? Like, I'm not saying he's not good, because I'm nobody compared to any of those people, right? But... I don't know who that Kendrick, whatever the fuck his name was. I don't know who that is. Does anybody know? I mean, maybe, right? He's not on the fucking halftime show because, but maybe that's the launch of his career. I don't know. But it brought me back. 50 Cent looked like 75 Cent. That's the, that's the funny one going around. They're still very, very, very good. Like, they are fucking incredible. You know? All of them. Snoop. Eminem. I think, you know, I think Eminem needed more time. He needed more airtime. Like, I just feel like that's who needed the most airtime out of all of them. I would have loved to see more Eminem. But I guess that's just me. Uh, Snoop Dogg, hell yeah, Mary J. Blige. Hell, you know, like Mary J. Blige, could, her, her outfit, you know, like her attire could have probably wore something different that's just again it's my opinion she looks beautiful she is beautiful but um you know whoever decided that I, you know whatever do you good but that's just me uh 50 cent look thick and i i don't know you know i don't know snoop dog hell yeah nice sweatpants fucking a ray doggy right uh dr dre fucking A. Love it. Right? Like, that was good. It brought me back. I enjoyed it. I just, I feel like there could have been just a hair more something. Like, it just, but very talented. They're still very talented and incredible people. I just, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe in my head I expected a little bit more and, and, uh, and they did fucking awesome. Like, really. They brought back everything they are. They, who they are, you know. They did great. So, I guess, they're fucking awesome. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Share this in. You, you probably won't share it. That's okay. You probably didn't do much for it. <laughs> but share it if you did. Share it. Share it. Share it. Please. I'm trying to grow this out. Appreciate it. Uh, and as always, Corporate Nation, I love you guys. If you're willing to change from the neck up, then you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye, friends.